It's Monday the 8th of May. These are the headlines. Emmanuel Macron has won the French presidential election, defeating the far-right Marine Le Pen by a margin of two to one. Now, everyone was naturally relieved when the fascists didn't win. I mean, apart from Nigel Farage, obviously, who tweeted that a giant deceit had been voted for. Really, Nigel? Because I can think of, ooh, at least 350 million bigger deceits that were voted for. So, what does the new president promise? Well, in his victory speech, he said that he wanted to rediscover a spirit of French conquest which embodies the French spirit better than anything. Disconcerting, coming from the country of Napoleon Bonaparte. On the other hand, though, that would be a very effective way of reuniting Europe. He went on to say that it's his responsibility to bring every man and woman together. Now, that's some French spirit we can all get down with. France voted yesterday to keep its borders open. Meanwhile, in our own election, the focus has moved on to immigration. The Conservatives are promising their usual policy of reducing immigration to the tens of thousands, as they promised in 2010 and once again in 2015. And it worked on neither occasion. So I can only assume that their reasoning behind promising it this time is that third time's the charm. UKIP, meanwhile, have opted for the far simpler one-in, one-out system, which is very sensible indeed. We can start with their one councillor from last week. 